Hello, YouTubers. Hello, subscribers. I hope you're having a wonderful evening. Thank you so much. It is so much has been going on. Kisses and no more kisses until my, my nails get fixed. They, I, I usually can do them quick. Well, I'll do that. So much is going on. It's so much going on. Mm -mm. It's 24-7. It's Megan's in trouble. You guys, I kid you not. And then what happens is they keep digging it. Uh huh. Deeper and deeper and deeper. Mm hmm. And making fools out of themselves. But I mean, not even that. It's just. Are you seeing the, her bully? Do you see the bully? Do you see the bully? I see it. It took me a minute. And I was like, and then I was like, okay. We gonna have a talk. So remember when she was on the Oprah show telling us how horrible Kate was and all about the bridesmaid dresses and how horrible her father was and how Samantha wasn't crap and her brother wasn't crap and stuff. And then like how she became what she is today on her own and all this other stuff. Okay. You know, and pretty much said the raw family was racist based on what Harry said. Mm hmm. She took it and said that the royal family was racist. And her credibility, everybody vouched for, her, even Oprah. And Oprah has not yet said that she hasn't vouched for her. But I know Oprah is looking at this and going, oh my God, she should be. Because Megan has just played it. I'm going to show you how. So then she, you can't tell me she's not bullying Harry. And her mother and everyone around her. That lets her, her security was bullied. Bullied into, she convinced him to let her get out the car and get into a taxi. I, I just, that's the only thing I can think of that Security would do something like that, knowing that someone's chasing them, going 200, two hours, high speed chase in Manhattan. And then remember, she was suicidal and was going to kill herself. Mm -hmm. Kill herself. And it was the Ross fault because she was lonely. And, and she had to get out of there because no one asked her how she was doing. No one asked me how I was doing. Remember from Africa? She was over there for 15 minutes and raised hell. And she bullied them. She bullied the courtiers, each and every one of them. Here's the receipts. Her lies, the receipts, the bullying, the receipts. And then you kind of try to figure out what she's about through her family. But they didn't tell you that she was a bully and a manipulator, or did they? <laughs> And so she treats everyone she come in contact with like they peasants. Like they beneath her. Like all of a sudden, like now that she's this princess, she can treat anyone any kind of way she wants. And Harry's the muscle. Remember? I told you Harry's the muscle. 
He's he's been trying to please her and been trying to do and and he can't do it. He has been trying to do whatever Megan tell him to do and he's been doing it. Mm -hmm. I don't believe they're sleeping together. I don't believe they're living together. I believe I believe Megan treats him worse than she treats everyone else. And that's not good. And can you imagine the kids? There's something wrong with this woman. And you cannot tell me that she's not in the middle of all of this. Harry is not. Come on, TMZ. You know to say Harry. Harry's not suing everybody. Who is he suing it for? Her. Who is he doing all this for? Her. Who was he downtown for in New York City for? Her. He wasn't down there to say, have a speech or do anything like that. He was down there to celebrate his wife because his wife was celebrating herself, getting an award, patting herself on the back. Mm -hmm. All about making, look at me. Now all eyes are on her and she doesn't like this. Because it's not like the castle, honey. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> no. You have opened up. I told you guys, I said this thing is going to have legs. Look, I know I talk a lot, but catch it. Catch it. Because I'm telling the story. It's happening. And you guys are too. You're telling the story. This is happening. Mm -hmm. This will never go away. TMZ will never stop talking about this. Because mm -mm. something else is going to come up. <laughs> well, the previous video that I was just discussing, I was saying how Megan didn't thank the NYPD for getting her home safely. And how she messed up. But now I'm talking about how she keeps digging her grave. Her and Harry sends a letter to the lawyers, to the to the company, to the photograph company, Beckett. I know I'm pronouncing them incorrectly. Let me pull it up on my laptop. It's in people, their best friends. People magazine has turned on me and them. You know that, right? They are no longer talking about the duo. They are reporting it. Mm -hmm. Backgrid. People. How making it says, it says it had rejected a legal demand to share any photos that were taken after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. <laughs> so the lawyer decided, oh, Okay, we will show you what they're trying to do. They're demanding. <laughs> demanding. Doesn't that sound familiar? Demanding. Her demands. <laughs> this is going to be hot. Demand. It's oh, now she's trying to bully. <laughs> Is it not bullying? Demanding? It's bullying. She's demanding. Her lawyers is demanding that they turn over there was immediately and all of this other stuff, copies and da 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 da. Demand. Harry. No. You and Megan has messed up. And she keeps talking. And this is her telling Harry, Harry, they can't do that, Harry. Harry, they can't do that. And then Harry's trying to save her again and making an ass out of himself because he can't demand anything over here. 
No. They are now open to scrutiny on a whole nother level. Because the thing about the investigation is that they're not keeping the investigation. <laughs> like the palace. The bullying allegations. Oh, no. They're going to tell us where they was, how, how far they was going, how fast they was going, how long they was in the car. And uh, if there's no footage of the chase, we won't be seeing anything. But I wouldn't be surprised if we saw them just doing this. <laughs> what does she think was going to happen? And why is she trying to... I told I, I said, why is she going after the paparazzi? I said, why is she attacking them, the very people that she need when she was on the mountain? Now, she's attacking them and saying that they were chasing her. <laughs> like someone said, they, I think they were under the impression that she was going to dinner. And see, TMZ is now like, wait a minute, this doesn't sound right. Something's up. And now, when they find out that it's fishy, they're like the I spy team, TMZ. They're going to find out. See, what's happening is, is Megan and Harry are starting to crack. Cracks are showing. Major. Big time. Stupid ones. Making stupid decisions and talking to us like we're stupid. And TMZ was like, did you hear the letter that Megan's lawyer wrote to Backrid? Like, they were in shock. They said, they said Harry was demanding it. And then Backred came back and said something about, um, <laughs> you are not the king over here. I'm going to paraphrase. You are not the king over here, Harry. And you're not taking anything that doesn't belong to you. It belongs to me. And, and your lord, and he <laughs> said, so no demands is coming from under here. You don't own anything. He said, and you don't have any jurisdiction. You are not the king. He dissed him. His lawyer dissed his <laughs> in a very shameful way. <laughs> this is going to play out. Continue to play out. Megan needs to shut up. Where's Oprah? Oprah, hello, help your girl. Ain't nobody helping her. Everybody didn't let her. I think Gail and Oprah need to go over there and help. Start. I haven't felt sorry for her yet. No, I don't feel sorry for her yet. I am concerned because TMC is like, who is she? Who do they think they are? That's like, do, like they're starting to believe like, uh-oh, they really think they are in a movie. Like they really think they are entitled. Uh-oh, they did lie on King Charles. The family ain't racist. Uh-oh, they are a bully. Demand? They didn't ask or request or, you know, advise. I would advise. I advise you to please try, you know, give me those or whatever. They demanded. Bullied. That's a bully tactic. And that's what TMZ took it and said, I can't believe it. Can you? They said, no. And then they talked about what back, back grid said. You know, look, we ain't giving you nothing. You're in the wrong country. It is not like that over here. Uh-uh. And I don't know why Megan put you, why did Megan put him in this situation? 
Why is Harry fighting a system he's never fought before? Why is he getting involved in that? Why is he trying to protect, protect this bitch? Seriously. You know why his father and brother was quiet? Because they, they saw it. They said, it's, it's gonna happen. I think she got so jealous of the coordination that it just, it, it she couldn't take it. I think that she snapped. I think that Megan was just like, oh my God, they're at the coordination and I can't stand it. And then, because she came out with that, because before she had that look at me, don't look at them kind of thing. Look at me and then me and Harry are out. That fake date. Told you. Fake. Mm-hmm. She has been exposed. It is nasty. <laughs> it's like, we told you so. And I don't care. <laughs> what it, listen, somebody from the success squad just got real mad and just said, shut up. <laughs> shut up or, you know, just something real mean. And I was just like, wow. You should be mad, but you're mad at the wrong person. And then the nerve of you guys, the nerve, the nerve of you Sussex squad to be okay with her demanding anything. So she's entitled. It is just disgusting. And here's another tip, Sussex squad. For you to go after her father-in-law is disgusting. Because if you and if I was her and you were going after my father-in-law, I would not want to be your friend. I would say, you know what? Don't protect me. I don't need you to be mean to the people that are my in-laws. Even if we wasn't, even if we were not getting along. That's why Megan is sick. She cares more about if the royals are going to call her and check on her. Listen, she had this plan. She had to. She's moving too fast. She had already came out with a few statements. One that was just ridiculous. But nobody believed. And now, one from the lawyers, Harry then sent over his copy, demanding some stuff. And then she had Obi Scobie let us know that her father-in-law hadn't gotten in contact with her. You are sick. I think she thinks this is some type of um, fairy tale slash game. Like she is that queen. She is that Megan doll. That remember that Chucky and Megan doll. That um, like South Park. Like everything. Like this real. This is real. She has shown us her true colors. Who do you think you are to be demanding anything from anyone? Mm -mm. No, it's interesting because it's not like over there. Harry is not treated, Harry is treated like a celebrity. Over here. <laughs> That's it. Not a prince. No. No one's bowing. Mm -mm. No one's like. Mm -mm. No one. And if they was, they're not doing it anymore. Because there was only two or three people at her event. And that was Doria and them and the paparazzi. Harry has been trying to keep her safe since he met her. I hope she's okay. He was at the altar talking about, I hope she's okay. What you saving her from? 
You can't save her from herself. She's got him so backwards. Fighting with everyone. If you're fighting with everyone, then who can help you? <laughs> well, W M E is next. They will be coming out with a statement. <laughs> Stating how they won't be working with her. Because, and it's not their fault. Mm -mm. Because if they continue to hang on, they're going to look just as worse. Because there's nothing there. She's running around demanding stuff. Just like she was demanding to be on the ballot. Remember for the coordination? And she sent Charles that note talking about how she wanted to be on the balcony. She wanted to wear a tiara. She wanted Archie's name to be mentioned. And then um, she wanted to sit in the front. You know, everything. And the reason why she decided not to go is because maybe she was going to have a feather in her face. She didn't want that. But she needed a feather in her face. Because look, look at the chaos. Look how she treats people. Look how she treats the New York City police. She didn't say thank you. That, I don't know what kind of security guard that would let someone jump in and jump out of another car. So someone that can be controlled by Megan. They'll never be safe with her. She's controlling it. She's not scared. She's scared of the paparazzi. You're going to get out of the car and get in another one. And now you want pictures. Why? You're afraid the truth is going to come out? Are we going to see something? Oh, no. They better hang on to those pictures. Because I'm not surprised the police hasn't seized them. But obviously don't even need to. Because no one did anything wrong. Megan's in trouble. Some serious, serious trouble. There's no coming back from this. TMZ is looking at her like, who is this woman? He said, who would, they're looking at Harry. And maybe that's what she wants them to do. How dare you guys look at Harry? Harry's the puppet. Harry's been trying to make her happy since he, when he walked, when, when they introduced him, whatever, however the freaking they met, he has been in nightmare hell. And whether he has been or not, you know, maybe he's brainwashed, maybe he's loving it. Or, I don't think so. I don't think Harry is having fun in Hollywood. With Megan's shenanigans. I thought he was fine, fine. I thought Harry was flying over here to his freedom. And ever since he's got here, she has managed to swindle his personality down to hers by saying, she's, why was she privileged to tell us that Harry's father was dead? She said he lost his father in this too. Look at her telling the story. And King Charles is like, whatever. <laughs> no one's lost anyone. My son, he knows where I live. That's the one bond she will never be able to break. The family. And she knows that. And maybe she's trying to prove to Harry, see, they don't love you. They didn't even look, they didn't even, they didn't even bother to, to reach out to you. What kind of bitch would do that? What kind of woman would, would continue to just put salt on the wound? I wouldn't have told my husband that. I said, well, you know what? Maybe it's taking them a minute to get it. 
and then they're going to call us. But I wouldn't have had Spokes Boy running out talking about how my in-laws hadn't reached out to me yet because Megan wants to think that they're the bad guys. <laughs> so the Sussex Squad can get on their little notebook and go after them, but the gig is up. It's disgusting. You know, if Pierce Morgan decided to have Ernest on there, I'm not watching that. I'm not watching nothing else. Ernest and any of them have to say, I'm tuning them out. It doesn't matter what the Sussex Squad say. <laughs> They're losing. They need to be worried about how they're going to fix their girl's reputation because it's gone. And her and Harry are not looking good at all. And the back red wanted them to know that kiss my butt, Harry. You're not running anything in this country. He wasn't running it there either. He thought he was. Megan thought he was. No. I believe Catherine and all of them said, don't worry. <laughs> like Bedford always said, one of my subscribers, and Bunny and Debbie and Lee Foster. I, you guys are awesome. Like, I, like, I love all of you guys are just awesome. I really appreciate you. Um, there's nothing left. There's nothing left. She's going to be one of those people that, unfortunately, is going to be alone. Because people are going to stop talking about her because of what she's done. And the more she talks, the more, the more people don't like her. Mm -mm. Because the really, the, the big news was how Bat Grid came back. Nope. The big news is that the whole idea that they could demand it at all. What's next, Megan? Because whatever you say, we gonna know. <laughs> it is not the same. This thing is gonna unravel on her if don't nobody get a hot tote. <laughs> and whatever comes out, take it, receive it, and move on. But I don't think she's gonna be able to move on from this because she's told so many lies. And after you've told so many lies, people just, it's like enough is enough. But what about the lies that you've told on those people? What about them? Mm -hmm. Like the paparazzi that you said that were chasing you? What about them? So... What about the courtiers when you were in there bullying them, keeping them up at night and telling them, demanding what you wanted? Demanding. I see it. You're going to stay up. If not, then da da. -da. I'm, your, I'm your boss now. Went in there treating them people like they were servants. Mm -hmm. The courtiers, there's a whole, yep, just nasty. Treated our father like he's dead. Mm hmm. He's dead, but I, I want, I, he's dead, but I want King Charles to call me because that's more important. Why? Why was it so important that King Charles called her? And why was it so, she tells on herself every moment, every moment, that she's constantly thinking about the royal family. She's obsessed. She it is obsessed. And it's, it's dangerously, it's dangerous because um, she, she thinks it's a competition. She thinks she's up against something. 
Like, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. It's just, it's weird. And so now, all of a sudden, she's this damsel. Her, her mother, and Harry, Harry, stop making her make you look like that. I think Harry's in trouble. Can't tell me he's not. His father's not worried. But he can't reach Harry. Harry can't be reached. Can you imagine being treated worse than how she treats other people? Harry's getting it worse. Can't you see it? He's in court every, he's got to go to court. And he probably going to be, she probably going to add this to the list. See the lawyer? Demand. <laughs> and TMZ like, who do they think that they are? There it is. Because back where it had to let them know, no, no, no. <laughs> no. I'm not giving you anything. Megan might need to read our laws. <laughs> I think they're in trouble, guys. Let me know what you think. I think they're in trouble. I think they have really done it. I think they have left themselves open for the Oprah Winfrey's video to come back up. Everything to start being in question. Especially the Oprah show. How she lied and said that. And now it's unconscious bias. That's, we need to talk about that TMZ. No one's talking about, now he's talking about unconscious bias. Hello? She wrote, the, bring it. There was a letter leaked. TMZ need to catch up with the story though. When I start feeling sorry for Megan, <laughs> That's, that's when it's really bad. It's getting close. Because she keeps doing stuff. Mm -hmm. She keeps doing stuff and her prince keeps thinking he can save her. And he does things to try to save her. And it's still not enough. How do you... How do you constantly try to please someone and then they just won't ever be pleased because no matter what you do it's still not enough and you can see it on the stage that was Harry's she coached him and told him to do that demand that's not Harry and see they think it is and is that her strategy Here's the thing. Someone said it's their five year anniversary. There's no way that I would have stirred this up around my anniversary. Not with me and my husband. I would have said, listen, it was just a little inconvenience. Listen, we're the ones down here. Let's do it, do it. But let's put out a little statement. It was a little challenging, but, or nothing at all. If it was nothing to say. But since, she messed up her. How are they having an anniversary with her drama? With Megan's drama? So, so, do you guys honestly think this is Harry? TMZ? Okay, so if the scenario is all about him saving Megan. Isn't that still what he's doing? And trying to protect her? With the demand? Is it Harry or is it Megan? It's Megan. I hope you guys enjoy it. Tell me what you think. Because I think that she keeps getting herself into more trouble. Mm -mm, you can't do that. You can't be writing stupid demand letters. <laughs> oh, God.
uh, can you imagine me getting one? I demand you, Letitia, to stop. Oh, oh, oh my God. Everybody would have a copy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not just the lawyers. Everybody. Get out of here. Who do you think you are? Freedom of my speech. Listen, guys, I hope you enjoyed my first video and this one. Your girl's in trouble. Our girl is in trouble. She... I've never seen it like this before over here. She's hot. They are talking about her story is not adding up and how she is demanding. He said, here you go, TMZ. This story just keeps getting... I mean, like, he said, this story just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Or just more. Just It just keeps growing. I said, mm-hmm. Just like I thought it would. It's going to have legs and it's going to keep growing and growing and growing. Because now people want to know who is this person that said that about what was going on in our city. Our state, our country. Is she telling stories? Is she making it up? Yes. <laughs> it's facts. <laughs>